What's going on people? Welcome back to my channel. Why am I doing this? Hey, 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 hey. A January book call. So books that I got for Christmas, books that I bought myself for Christmas, books that I wanna be reading over the next uh, four weeks in January. I mean, I always say this, but then I'm still reading books that I said I was gonna read in December. You know, struggle's real. But these are books that I have right now in January. So I'm gonna go through them one by one. Before I get started, um, if you do like this video, if you like any of my content, then make sure that you like it. If you like it, like it. And make sure that you comment if you've read any of these books or you plan to, or if you find any of them interesting. And also subscribe so that you can keep seeing me ramble on about books and other stuff. So what books do I have in January? Um, it's nice because I've got like an eclectic mix, well I feel like I do anyway. So I'm going to start off with three little books. They come as part of a series, I haven't got the whole series. Three books and they're kind of like um, wellness and self-help type books. They, they are here, they're really cute, they're so small, but each of them are like how-to books. They're like how-to, how-to this, how-to that. And they have been published by Murky Books. Now I absolutely absolutely love Murky Books which is like a smaller faction of um, Penguin Books UK. I did enter into their writing competition, didn't get long listed, no hard feelings, but um, I love what they're doing, I love the authors that they're celebrating and the type of things that they're putting out there, the stories that are being put out there are exactly what we need and these sort of um, books are ones that are helping people access information and knowledge that we might not necessarily be privy to in our upbringings or in our surroundings. So Murky Books are trying to bridge that gap. So the ones that I've got here are how to save it, how to calm it, how to move it. So this one's about keeping fit, this one's about saving money and the other one's about unlocking your potential through mindfulness and meditation and other things like that. I've only started reading the how to save it because this year I want to save some money and I love the fact that it's not just like this airy fairy type like it's like much more like practical steps of which you can take to achieve these things. Thanks Murky Books for these. The next one I have to tell you about is I Would Leave Me If I Could. I also have done this recently in a video which is talking about books by singers because this is written by Halsey. It's a collection of poetry and I have to say that I was drawn in through the cover and seeing another person's review on Bookstagram and I've bought it and I'm so glad that I spent the money on buying this because the poetry is some of my favourite poetry that I've read this year. I'm not going to lie, I know I'm doing a book haul and this is supposed to be before you read it but I've read most of this and it is so good. Like literally so good so I'm gonna save too much information about it to to when I do a review but this is so lit if you're into poetry get this the next one that I have to show you which I'm pretty excited I'm pretty excited I'm pretty excited to show you this one <laughs> I'm pretty excited to show you this one because it comes with like a story behind it so this one I have recently started up a new book club. It's called The Tasty Book Club um, because I wanted to combine my love for food as well as my love for books and I know that for some reason a lot of my friends who are like, into reading are really into food as well and cooking. We do a book every two months because I wanted to make it a really low pressure book club. The reason I'm explaining this to you is because the book that I have to show you for this book haul is the book that we're doing for January, February. Because it's Valentine's Day coming up, I wanted to see us in with a nice, easy romance, and I've seen this book everywhere. Get a life, Chloe Brown. So like I said, I'm still in 2020. I haven't read any of the Talia Hibbert's books before, um, and obviously this is my first one I'm reading. Obviously I've heard loads about it, I don't really need to bore you guys, I'm sure you've seen loads of it, but it's about Chloe Brown, she's chronically ill, and then she has this some sort of bucket list. Um, it's supposed to be like a heartbreaking but comedic romance, so I'm so excited to read this one, hopefully it should be a quick easy read, I'm really excited to get talking about it with my book club as well. I think there's some juicy like saucy bits in there as well, saucy, saucy. The next one that I have to show you is mm, 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 mm. oh yeah is this one here this one i'm not gonna lie i have read it already but this is part of my journey book called because it's so important to me and this was one of my favorite books from my childhood ever and the illustrations within it stuck with me forever like game changer for me when i was about 
six or seven. I've read it like 10 million times. So I've recently ordered it on in, I've recently ordered it on eBay because I literally couldn't find it anywhere. And not many people know about it either. So this book here, Scribble Boy by Philip Ridley. This is gonna be getting read in January because I want to read it to remind myself and, and see if I still like all the books that I read as a child. So Scribble Boy, it's a kid's book, um, but it's still like, kind of thing. It's about the legend of Scribble Boy who's this like renowned graffiti artist and then just various stuff around it. I honestly would still recommend this to everyone so still worth a mention. Next one that I'm going to read is another poetry book. Again I'm sure you've seen it everywhere. She's like one of the most famous poets ever. Probably one of the most highest paid poets and it doesn't need much introduction. This is Homebody by Rupa Kaur. As a poet myself I'm constantly invested in poetry books. I could just never not own a book that she brings out. Her writing is beautiful she often does quite short pieces as you can see as well she always deals with you know quite deep topics from like sexual abuse to racism to what it means to be a woman and be inside a woman's body and I've kind of been her, following her writing process of this book for the, like the last year or so on Instagram so I literally just can't wait to see all of that creativity come into fruition and what she has to offer no doubt I'll be posting edgy quotes on my Instagram from this here book so you know look out for it Mm, mm, mm. the next book is over there the next book that I have to show you again is another bookstagram booktube 2020 fave I'm just kind of playing catch up but I have got the Waterstone special edition comes look at this amazing dust jacket look how gorgeous this edition is oh my god I've got this beautiful like purple cover cover as well so yeah as i said i've heard this everywhere on instagram and on booktube and with everyone singing its praises and i just thought i just couldn't miss out but the reason that i haven't read it till now is because i heard that it has a, a lot of similarities or there's a lot of similar themes in it to Passing, which was the Nella Larson book that I spoke about in my last book haul. And I've since read that and thought that was amazing. And I know it's not exactly the same, but I just wanted to get the historical fiction one first. Like the Nella Larson one was written in the 1920s. So I wanted to read that one first, like the original. And then I wanted to read The Vanishing Half afterwards and kind of like compare the exploration of the themes in within it. So that's why I've left it a little bit later, but I'm glad I waited. I like had an argument with my boyfriend, like, I really wanted him to be interested in my book buying and I was like oh should I venture out and get the special edition he was like no you should get the cheap one so I was like hmm hmm <laughs> fine so I went and spent more money although I don't really think that spites him it spites me but I did it anyway <laughs> and um yes yeah, so i've got this beautiful special edition i literally can't wait to get into this the book speaks about colorism discusses race and yeah just this deals with a lot of important topics and i've literally seen so many five star reviews of this i think i've only seen like one four star review and like so i just feel like i have to read it and then after that i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to read the mothers which was her first book as well so no doubt that'll be in my next haul the next one that i've got to show you is a quite a random book i've actually only ever seen this once and it was from another a girl who does booktube and she was doing it as a buddy read or like a book club and it's really bad because I can't remember her name and I'm gonna have to try and search through everything I've commented on to see if I can find her but she was doing a buddy read of this book and I thought it sounded really interesting and but now I can't buddy read of them because I've forgotten who they are so if you're watching this please comment if it was you or if you know who's doing this please let me know but I bought it and it's called clean look at this spangly spangly reflective cover I can feel it swimming through my veins like glitter it's liquid gold when socialite Lexi Volkov almost overdoses she thinks she's hit rock bottom she's wrong Rock bottom is when she's forced into an exclusive rehab facility. From there, the only way is up for Lexi and her fellow inmates, including the mysterious Brady. As she faces her demons, Lexi realises love is the most powerful drug of all. It's a dirty business getting clean. So it says it's about addiction, redemption, love and despair. I don't know why, I do quite like, I mean I don't always read them, but I do quite like addiction books and things like that. The next one I have to read is another like bookstagram made me do it type book. I'm sure you'll recognise this one. It is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Oh I didn't know that she also wrote Daisy Jones and the Six. That's another one that I didn't read. But um yeah Seven, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I've seen it everywhere. I'm really excited to read this one actually. It's about love and glamour um, and obviously a woman who has had seven husbands. It's about a reclusive Hollywood icon Evelyn Hugo is finally ready to tell the 
the truth about her glamorous and scandalous life. And she gets this unknown magazine reporter called Monique who comes and tells her story. She's talking about making her way in LA in the 1950s and then the show business in the 80s and then her seven husbands along the way. This sounds like something that I'm absolutely gonna love. I have this like weird addiction, you know, like when you watch real films and stuff or like you watch documentaries and stuff, I end up like literally searching the real stories and the real pictures for hours and I have like a bit of a weird obsession with like old fashioned glamour and like the scandals that used to happen around those times. There is literally like, we are so boring nowadays. Like the things that go on with our celebrities are actually so boring. Like back in the day, there was a proper scandal and like murder and cults and like infidelity and like, it was like normal. Like nowadays we slate someone if they've been married like two or three times. But like back then, like, like for example in this, people just getting married like willy nilly and everyone's in love and yeah. So that's one that, I'm really excited for because I just feel like the time period is just gonna be so glamorous and so interesting and I'm just like a gossip column queen so anything that's a bit juicy I'm in there. <laughs> also I've seen only five star reviews of oh no no actually I've seen like four and five star reviews of this and loads of good things to say about it. So yeah, excited. The last one that I have for January is one that I've actually already read. So this again is cheating a little bit because I've already read this one. I saved it to last probably because I loved it so much. This is an Elizabeth Acevedo book and it is called With the Fire on High. The cover, can you just look, look at how beautiful that cover is. Like I want to do a, um, what are they called? You know, those really cool like cover reenactments. Is it a reenactment? I don't know. You know, like where they do it and they're like, they're next to it, like looking like the cover or whatever. Have I got a sweat patch? So yeah, the cover is just beautiful. The premise of this, if you don't know, I'll read you the blurb. Um, Amani wants to be a chef more than anything, but having a two year old daughter and being 17 and still at school isn't exactly making life easy. The one place she can go, she can let everything go is in the kitchen where she has magical hands, etc, etc. When she gets cooking, her passion to feed will nourish her soul and dreams too. With the fire on high, anything is possible. So it's surrounding a teenage mum. She got pregnant, I think at 14 or 15 and following her dreams of wanting to become a chef. Throughout this book, there's these like recipes of like, the tastiest food like it's got like proper recipes in there and the food in this is just so amazing so I have already read this there's a bit of a cheat putting it in there because I read it in the last like week or two I'm a bit late doing this haul video and it is so beautiful like I literally love it the descriptions in there talking about you know marginalized communities the relationship between like the black and latino community and like literally this is such a good book i literally love this i went i got through it in like three days so that's all of the books that i want to read in january um, i've already read like three of them so i think i'm doing all right to be fair if you've seen any of these books you've read any of those books or you hate them or whatever it is i just want you to kind of let me know so we can like have a chat about it so do let me know i'm gonna try and get them all in in the uh in the shot now we'll see if we can get them all in these are all my books um i'm gonna show you the reel that i made trying to balance these all in my head it didn't it didn't go to plan <laughs> four three two one Let go! level up 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 all this on me so yummy all this sounds so yummy no you want this yummy Thanks for watching. Please suggest some like new 2021 books for me because clearly I'm still stuck in 2020 and I need bringing out of it. So should we try and balance it again? Oh, oh, no, no. Wait, gotta get it right. That's the hard bit is getting it out there. Nope. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I never know how to end these. So I'm just gonna be like, laters. Peace out, laters. You